Oh, hello there. Welcome. Over the course of the next few minutes, we'll be chronicling the character of Frank Nowadi, a resident of 1C49A, as he embarks on the journey of becoming the Hall Ass. What do you do here at Foothill? I'm a resident assistant for Building 1. What is a Hall Ass? <clears throat> well, a Hall Ass is short for Hall Association, which could be described as your student government from like high school, but it's in the residence halls. And who gets to choose who becomes Hall S? All the residents. So. All the residents. Mm -hmm. So what do you think residents look for in a Hall S? President, I think they may be looking for someone who has prior experience, someone who is knowledgeable and enthusiastic about improving the residential community. Frank is uh... Well, put in the words of, of one of the girls that, you know, I mean, there's a different girl visiting him every day, but put put in the words of one of the girls, uh, he, Frank is a sexy beast. And, uh, you know, I have to concur with that uh, very profound analysis. Frank, Frank is, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll be like this, he'll be like, oh, Jimmy. And then she'll be like, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right. In the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then Jimmy will be like, oh yes, you're spinning on my penis. I love it. Oh god. <laughs> so, what do you think about Frank? Ta Shin Jin Bing. Get me the fucking hammer! <laughs> like, Are you guys fucking recording this? I'm cursing. It's not gonna. Oh well. Fuck. Ryan! What? What's your earliest memory of Frank? Ta. Shen Jinping. Where's the fucking hammer? I need the hammer? Yes! Okay. Frank. What is there to say? Very loud guy. Can be a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> Look, football. <laughs> <laughs> can be a little. Can be beyond crazy sometimes. I don't like dick. I love dick. <laughs> he loves his. What are you like doing with it? I love my dick. <laughs> it's mine, and I love him to death. So, um, I think that Frank is a very, very hyper guy. He's always like around our suite, jumping around with his shirt off, and... <laughs> Frank, it's very loud. Very loud. And, uh, three in the morning, trying to sleep. Very loud. It starts snowing. <laughs> <laughs> so I bitch about that for five minutes, and then some smart ass Berkeley girl decides to come out and be like, It has snowed in LA before, one time in the 20s and one time in the 30s. And I'm like, I'm sorry I didn't fucking Google that. I'm fucking sitting on my computer one day, when did it snow in LA? I'm sorry, I didn't know that in my lifetime it didn't fucking snow in LA. So I have to make fun of it, somehow I have to be like, the fucking director is stupid, it doesn't make sense. Why is it snowing in LA? That, that's fucked up the whole movie right at the end, it's like it's snowing. Like, fuck that shit. And I think that he probably won't get to be hall ass. I'm sorry, but probably not because I think he's kind of too crazy and I kind of doubt it a little bit. But I still think he's cool. So yeah, thanks. You know, you ask a very um, difficult question and I think it, it doesn't just require uh, one or two lines of analysis. I think it requires uh, not just looking at, at Frank as as, as a person who advocates specific policies that of course could drastically change our lives here in the dormitory but we have to look at at the whole issue as, as a multifaceted one um, it's it's not simply uh, an issue of, of does he support giving X dollars here or Y dollars here it's will Frank affect the spirit of the dormitory will Frank inspire change will he inspire us to be better people and I think the resounding answer to all of those questions is a yes. I mean, you can sense his exuberance. Uh, uh, you're just sitting in the room. I can feel Frank outside. I can feel when Frank leaves the building. And I think uh, if we elevate him to a leadership position, I think everyone will have the benefit of, of feeling Frank.